Um, I just want to talk a little bit about my anxiety that I've had for so many years now. Um, actually affects me going outside quite a lot. Uh, so it's not like anxiety, like I'm anxious about something happening. It's just something that happens with not really any explanation, but it has a major impact on my life and the things that I can and can't do. Not that I let it get in the way as much as I can, but you know, sometimes when it's there, you just can't help but notice it. So I get anxiety when I go out to the shops, when I go into different locations, areas, uh, when I went to the gym, and it's a feeling which is so strange, like, I feel disconnected from the world, I go really dizzy, it feels like the, the like my whole perception is tilting, like I feel like I'm about to fall over. Like, I've been to, I've been for tests, um, to, to make sure that it isn't more than just like a mental problem, but it's, that's what it comes back to every time. So it's just something which has been a massive problem in my life for so long. And it's strange, because I'll go, you know, grocery shopping, I'll go buy some food, I'll go, as soon as I step foot inside the supermarket, that's it. Like I feel, I feel weird, I feel very strange, I feel like, I, it's like I take in too much information, and my eyes are shifting all over the place, and I can't look anywhere except down, because as soon as I look up I just, I, I have these like really weird, like, jolts. Let's say, it's like, my impression of it is as if I have too much adrenaline and it's like jolting out of me. But it's something I can't help and it just happens. So, you know, I'll be walking along a street and I've been trying to figure out what it is that makes it happen. Um, one theory is that, you know, even though I stream and do like YouTube stuff, I don't, I guess I don't like being watched in or judged in public. I had a, when I was younger, I always felt like I was doing things incorrectly. And maybe that's something from, from them where, you know, I feel like I'm doing things not the proper way and people are judging me for it but even when it's not in a situation about being judged it still happens so I'm just, it's just it's draining when you get it pretty much every single day like at work at gym at supermarket at walking down the street you know a busy street it's not even to do with people because I can be in a crowded place and be completely fine like if I was to go out to like a nightclub for example I'd be pretty much okay and I don't know whether that's because I know there's going to be a lot of people and your eyesight falls upon people more. I'm not sure. But yeah, this anxiety has been very strange. And uh, I went to the dentist today, for example, and I'm, I'm not scared of dentists, you know. In fact, it's pretty okay, you know, somebody doing stuff. I know a lot of people don't like it, but for me, I have absolutely no opinion in that I don't like it or that I'm anxious to go there. But I felt when I was there, and I was waiting for some results because I've had like a, like, in the end it's turned out to be like an ear infection. I just felt awful, like, I can't really explain it. Like, I felt like I was about to fall over and I couldn't concentrate, I couldn't like look straight, I kept after sh having to shift my glaze and to think to myself, like, I, I've got to keep myself sane, like, got to hold, it's like holding on to your sanity. It's just odd. It's really, really odd. But the thing is, as soon as I get into my car, where I am now, I'm fine. Because I guess it's one of my my safe places. Or at least it's one of my safe places that my mind thinks that it's a safe place. So, it's, yeah. Not a lot of people know. I have, I have spoken about it on stream before, but to what extent it actually affects me in my day-to-day -day life, it's crazy. And to, con you know, to consider that one of my say, special abilities is talking to people... And being around people, having anxiety is just a, like a strange fit. So, yeah, that's a that's my accord confession about my anxiety. So, you know, I don't know if anybody else suffers from it, but oh, I've only listed a few of the symptoms. It's not nice at all. So, hmm. thanks for listening, guys. Uh, maybe one day I'll be fixed. Who knows? But that's not today.